Hey Gemini, this is going to be your summer love reading for the summer of 2019. This is a bonus reading for you guys. It's my way of thanking you for all your support. All right. So let's see. I'm going to be using these two new um, tarot decks that I have. Let's give this a spin. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the summer of 2019? Oh, Gemini. The same as Aquarius, huh? <laughs> you might want to listen to that as well. So your underlying energy is the Ace of Swords. In the summer, you'll get to a point where you know what is your truth. What do you really want in your life? Yeah. Are the um, relationships or connections you have right now, do they still serve for your higher purpose? If not, are you going to cut them off? This is also talking about um, getting clarity about certain things, getting to the root cause of any problem, as well as communication. All right. So Gemini, I'm going to be pulling four cards for your summer energies, okay, with regards to love. Gemini, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. Mm. We have the Ace of Wands. Sorry, Ace of Cups here. Yeah. And we have the King of Wands. Beautiful. I'll be clarifying I'll be clarifying these cards using the after tarot deck. Alright. Why do we have this eight of swords here? Because we have the five of wands and the five of pentacles. Okay, for the Knight of Cups, why do we have the Knight of Cups here? It's been clarified by the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Oops. Oops. Get this one out and let's get one more. Okay. We have temperance and death and um, the king of wands. Why do we have the king of wands here? We have the ace of wands and the hierophant. All right, Gemini. Truth, communication, mental clarity. That's your underlying energy. But you are coming in the summer with the Eight of Swords energy. Right? You'll be feeling trapped in your mind. It is as if there's a lot of doubts and fears that you're not able to face. All right? Why? This could very well be due to the fact that um, there could have been some arguments in the past and um, perhaps some resolution has been made, maybe not to you, towards your favor. Yeah, and you may end up just uh, are um, accepting whatever resolution that has been made, and probably that resolution has brought you into um, feeling left out or feeling abandoned. For some of you, it could even be um, some sort of financial. Um, imp there could have been some financial impact after that commotion or after that. Um, argument that has left you um, some form of in instability with regards to your finances and hence you're coming in with that energy in the summer that you're trapped mentally you don't know what to do next whatever has happened has created more fears than it should in your life right Gemini and here we have the Knight of Cups. Somebody is coming forward to offer some sort of um, love, emotion, even apology. This could also be you moving towards someone. All right. And that's been clarified by the Four of Cups and this, the Nine of Cups. You could have made an offer, an emotional offer to someone in the past, but um, it wasn't taken... It was taken for granted, yeah, 
because probably that someone has been concentrating or still focused on their past. They haven't gotten over their past. Or they haven't gotten over the past um, problems that you both had. And therefore, you know, whatever um, emotional offer or emotions you have um, offered to them, it was taken for granted. This could also be you, right? You were not, you were not taking offer from people because you were still not over the past hurts, or even your past relationship. Yeah. And perhaps during that process, you were still, um, you were trying to. Uh, just give me a second here. Okay, so it appears like the previous emotional offer wasn't uh, was taken for granted because of some um, past differences or past hurts that were not fixed yet or were not um, settled yet. Yeah, it could be their past, your past in a past relationship, or even both of your past um, connection. All right, but this connection it appears like this is a wish fulfillment for both of you guys. Did you feel that? You're both happy when you're happy in this connection. But very well so if you're not um, on the same page. It could def you could definitely feel um, taken for granted. And you feel that the other person may just be indulging in their own happiness without you. But given that this connection is indeed I feel very much so that this connection is um, is something that can make you happy, that makes you happy. It's a wish fulfillment for you, all right? It's just one step before the um, Ten of Cups, which is, you know, the completion or the attain, the attainment of total satisfaction, of emotional satisfaction. And hence, I feel that that is the reason why somebody here in this connection would be coming in with a sort, some sort of apology or some sort of connection. Somebody is coming forward to fix things up with you. Or this could very well be um, a new connection to Gemini. And somebody may have, um, may have had a uh, relationship in the past that they are willing to let go. And you may have met that person in some gatherings, in some social gatherings, you know. Then you you were happy. You started to connect. You started to get to know. And then now they're coming in with an offer. Offer of, you know, not just dating for three days, but at least, you know, we start dating for a couple more weeks. <laughs> Something like that, all right? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups here, um, clarified by the temperance and death. So, okay. <clears throat> and Gemini, I feel that you have been um, trying to balance things out and um, in your life. It could even be balancing your emotions, the surge of emotions, the passions, and even anger. I do feel that you are in that state of balancing things out. One foot in the water, one foot in the land. You may not, in the recent past, you may not have had any decisions made yet, but you're trying to keep yourself afloat in your day-to-day -day life, okay? And you're, you're being patient, actually. You are not rushing into communicating or arguing with someone. I do feel that you're patient, waiting for harmony to step in, in your life. And primarily so, this healing energy is primarily because there has been an ending, perhaps in a previous uh, connection. There's been an ending, and this ending could have happened um, a while back. And now you're starting to see the sun after that ending. Another day has begun. And a new love can come in. Because you, for those of you who have truly completed this ending and have processed and transformed yourself after that ending. Just transform yourself into a better you, you know. New love is in, new relationship, 
new、um, partnership. For some of you, this could even be proposal. So this could even very well be that energy right here that we were talking about. This could be that. It's a new proposal. For some of you, this could be new baby. <laughs> All right. Now we have the King of Wands, being clarified with the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. Wow, Gemini, are you getting married this year, this summer? Wow. So this energy right here is a go-getter energy, going for what you want passionately with. With your head, mind, and body all aligned for what you want, and you're gonna do everything you can to get it. Okay. Why do we have you? Why do why do you have this energy in the summer? Primarily because you're wanting, you've been wanting for that passionate start, a new beginning that could last the long term. This could even be a you know that passionate start. Has been started, yeah. You've been,、um, yeah, been started, and that leads you definitely can lead you to a long-term commitment. This this has a long-term potential, and that's why you're gonna go for it. If I may relate these energies, I think these energies are,、um, these three are for you in, in the, almost in the same. For some of you, it could be、um, for the same route. You're coming out from a fight, coming out of feeling unloved here. That's why you're stuck. But along the way, in the summer, there's going to be an offer coming in, which could give you that new love, new perspective of what life, what love is. All right, and that you're going to go for it because you see that it's going to be a passionate one, something that you really want, and at the same time, it could give you long-term success. And that is probably your truth for the summer. Let me know, Gemini, if this resonates. Let me know in the section, com comment section below, and hit like and subscribe. Happy summer! I'm gonna leave it at that. Bye.